So what I like to do, instead of putting the magenta right over the purple, what I like to do is put it right through the mid shot. Hello, Tony Hermes is in the lab. I'm here with Cheryl Kay. She was my amazing vocal coach. She has a talented, amazing, powerful voice. We love you. We haven't seen you in over two years. Yes, it's been uh, quite some time, huh? <laughs> she hasn't cheated though. Take a look at her hair. Spin around. Yes, this is the guy Tang hair. Well, from, <laughs> wait, from two years. Well, two years ago. Yeah, I'm like, once guy Tang touched my hair. <laughs> Don't judge, okay? It's been two years, okay? Yeah, and it still looks, I still it, love it. It still looks good. But what yeah. are we doing today? We are going to make it a hidden pink and purple, hidden. I think. Under yeah, yeah, under light. We're going to give it under, under lights. Light. And you want brown on top? Yes, so I want brown on top and then I want the, ra the magic, the magic okay, under. <laughs> listen here, sure. We're not gonna do just brown. We're gonna do something magical, magical brown. Yes. I'm excited because Cheryl is on my new album, 1981. We mm -hmm. recorded a song called Ready to Love. Yep, yep, we did. And we have a music video coming up. Oh, <gasps> this hair is gonna look so good in the music video. I I'm excited. Wait. I cannot wait. It, you're gonna look amazing. All right, are you ready? Because of you. She's we ready are. to love. I'm ready to love. We are. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready to do the hair. Which is the name of the song, Ready to Love, by the way. Mm -hmm. All right, have a seat, darling. Okay. Spin around. All right, guys, so I want you to take a look look at Cheryl Kay's hair here. She's a natural level two. It's not black. Everyone always stereotype and think all Asian people have black hair, but a lot of times it's dark brown or brown black. And then she has these old highlights that were done over two years ago. And for all the clients who are watching, know that if you don't take care of your hair color, it can turn brassy, it can fade, things can change. It's mm -hmm. your responsibility to, you know, don't wash your hair in hot boiling water and don't put your iron on high heat. These things play a role, so don't get mad at your stylist when the color shifts. These are very important and I'm just saying it now because I feel mm. like it's important because so many hair besties have told me to set realistic expectations for every, anyone who's watching. So you can see here, the color is about a level eight. So our goal is we're gonna go underneath, we're gonna do big nine and we're gonna light her hair up to at least a level nine. So we're gonna turn her blonde and on top, I'm gonna lift her up with shadow ash. And the reason why I'm gonna lighten her hair up is because Cheryl wants to have under lights, right? And with under lights, you gotta turn the hair blonde first before we put superpowers on there. Yeah, purple and pink uh, on the under lights and then like brown, the brown on, top. on top. Basically, I trust you in the process and I just wanna look beautiful because of your work. <laughs> You're gonna look beautiful. You gotta trust me, okay? Yes, I do. All right, let's get ready. We're gonna head over to Color Bar. All right, I knew I was feeling a little naked, so let me put my cuffs on. A lot of you guys have been asking me why do I always wear these cuffs? Because these cuffs really come in handy. You know, like when I want to put like clips and stuff in the hair, I could put the clips like right on the gauntlet, which helps a lot. So I don't have to reach down and stuff. So you can get these on salonarmor.com slash guytang, which I'll provide the link below. And these are signature guytang gauntlets, by the way, because so many of you guys have been asking. It's a hair bestie gauntlet. So we're going to use big nine to lift up Cheryl's hair. Big nine will lift up to nine levels, sometimes 10, depending on the hair type. So as you know, her hair is a level two, three. So it can take level one, two, three, four, all the way up to a nine or 10. It's very powerful, it's very potent. Okay, ooh, oh my gosh, she just like slide right out. That's so easy. And that's the thing, it's like when you massage it before you work with it, you can see it just slides right out. I'm going to do about 100 grams and we're going to use it with a dedicated 40 volume developer. Now, I know 40 volume sounds scary, but we're only doing this off scalp. When you're putting on scalp, you can mix 20 volume. So one to two ratio. So 200 grams is what I'm gonna use of 40 volume. Always measure, measure everything you're working with. So that's gonna make 300 grams of product altogether. Cause we did 100 gram big nine to 200 grams of 40, right? And then I'm gonna add in my hero, Guy Tang Collagen Powder. The collagen powder is amazing, you need to have it. So I'm gonna use like a quarter scoop because we don't need too much, your hair is healthy, but it's gonna protect your hair, elasticity, giving it strength and everything. And I'm gonna whisk her on up and then I'll add Olaplex in as I whisk her on. All right, you're gonna whisk it up to a nice consistency, just like that. And then I'm gonna squirt in a titty bit of Olaplex, okay, just a titty. A little drop, oh, there you go, that's all you need. All right, so we are gonna do under lights and what is the challenge is with this is you can see where her swirl is or the cowlick is what you we call it, right? Where you can see her part. 
you don't want to put the under lights right here. You want this to go over the under light. So this is very key point here. So everything needs to be brown on top and that's what she wants. So I'm gonna go diagonal up so that way we can leave the front brown. For example, when she pulls her hair back, she sees brown. So it's just not all mm. bleached out the side. So as you guys can see, I clipped out a diagonal section from her parietal because she wants some of her brown hair to kind of fold back. So when we tie her hair back, you're able to see her natural brown hair or not natural, but artificially <laughs> colored brown hair that we're gonna put on top. And then the under lights will start back over here. So what I'm gonna do is in order for this part to pop because this naturally veils over we're gonna start up higher on one side and slope down to one corner creating a triangle and then I'm gonna go over here and then I'm gonna move up so as we turn around here you can see this triangle going asymmetrically across the left side of her head so now I'm gonna clip that out the way and I put a little mesh sheet down underneath so we can lay the lightener on I feel like I can move quicker this way and this is very very important we got to move quick because we're working with lightener and then I'm gonna go in with foils after because I feel like when I foil one section at a time the lightener is sitting on one section for way too long so I'm gonna work up her head and it doesn't have to be perfectly clean of an application but do as cleanly as possible I'm gonna do one side to the next I'm gonna divide her hair in half I'm gonna clip this out to one side so I can work on this side. And you don't wanna get any lightener on the rest of the hair. And again, I'm gonna apply everything off of the routage. So an inch away from the scalp, just like so. And massage down. And this is really important that you apply away from the routage because you're gonna get hot roots. If you just go straight for the roots, what's gonna happen is the scalp edge area is gonna turn white, platinum because of the heat omitting from her scalp. The back of the head is always very hot too, so it's gonna turn blonde really fast. So if it's half an inch of regrowth, if you're doing a retouch, you still have to keep away from the scalp. So you see what I'm doing? I'm using my fingers to swipe, and this is how you're gonna get better even lift. And again, even though I'm overlapping the light and brown ends, it's still gonna lift evenly because that's the cold shaft all the way in the ends. And this is really important. Take a thin slice. So let's go ahead and lay the foil down on that just to incubate that and then reapply just like so. So I can literally feel the product warming up in my hands as I swipe. And this is the key here to get that even lift. Just that swipe by warming it up just like this and just laying it right down in the foil. And then once you see everything lighten, then you can go on the retouch with 20 volume. All right guys, so we already got her lightener sitting on her hair. So now I'm gonna mix her base format. I'm gonna grab the Shadow Ash 6 and I'm gonna grab the Shadow Ash 7. So this one's gonna be for her routage, and this one's gonna be for her mid shaft. So I'm gonna squeeze out Shadow Ash 6 first, and girlfriend has some hair. So I'm just gonna use a full tube. So I'm gonna squeeze out a full tube of Shadow Ash 6, which is 55 grams of color. And what I love to do also is to make sure I grab Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows is in this box. And this is calibrated with a lower ammonia, so it prevents hot roots. It sits at level five, so it ensures the charcoal tone that's in here, you don't get that hot root look, you know, that we don't like. So by just squeezing about, you know, 15 grams of it into your formula really helps preventing hot roots. So equal parts dedicate 20 volume developer. All right. And I'm gonna grab the Guy 10 collagen powder because you all need it. All right, this is really important. And the cool thing is you could put this in any time. Um, when you're using the Gaitan Collagen Powder, now this is cool because you can use the Gaitan Color if you use any other brand because this can go into any product. Anyone can use the collagen powder. I'm gonna use a scoop of that. All right, we're gonna whisk this on up. And this formula is actually gonna go on her routage. So make sure you use a whisk and you whip it up. And the reason why we mix two different formulas is because the scalp is hotter and the hair is newer. And what happens if you don't go a level down, you're gonna get hot roots. Nobody wants a hot routage. That's why you gotta formulate. All right, so now we're gonna use Shadow Ash 7. I love the Shadow Ash series. It has a gray, blue base, okay? The blue base ensures it cancels out all the orange tones. It ensures that you don't get any warmth. And the reason why I'm gonna lift up her hair, because she wants brown hair, but she doesn't want too much warmth, right? 
So I'm gonna use a full tube of this and I'm gonna mix it with 20 volume as well. All right, so 75 grams of Shadow Ash 7 to 75 grams of 20 volume. I'm gonna splash that right on in, equal parts. Always measure. And another thing I'm gonna do, so I don't mix up my formulas, is I'm gonna tear off the tab and the guy tang bowls here. You can actually put the tab right in that tab holder so you don't get your formulas mixed up. And you can get these on mydannycolor.com. They're limited time, so make sure you go on there and get it before it's out, because once these bowls are out, they're gone. And these are the guy tang bowls, okay? And they're inside the Stroke It Out kit. All right, so. We are gonna apply the base color right now, but let's take a peek to see how far we lift it. Oh wow, look at that. So you can see how it's lifted. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the base color down first, and then I could wrap the base color up, and then we'll figure this out. Sometimes I do the base color last while I'm doing the superpower color in the bottom. It all depends because I'm planning to glaze my base color because I like to layer color on color because when you layer color, you get dimension. It's almost like a base coat, top coat, and you get that iridescence. That's why I do it that way. And you can see her ends. It's also lighter as well. So knowing that you're gonna do one coat, I feel like it's not enough. I love enriching the color by glazing it. That's just me though. You don't have to do it. You can do it in one step if that works for you. Everybody does things differently as an artist. All right, and we're gonna put formula one, which is the Routage formula on first. I'm gonna take the clip down. And this is gonna be Shadow Ash six with dark shadows on her Routage. And we're gonna place this right on that scalp area. I like to do the scalp formula first for me for this. All right, so we're on to formula two right now, and we are gonna apply shell R7 through the mid shaft here, and this is with 20 volumes. So the less dye load that's in here, it's gonna ensure that we get brightness through the mid, and we're just gonna apply through the mid shaft. I'm leaving her ends out, and I'm probably gonna put a different formula there, because if I drag it through these porous ends, it's gonna look black and hollow. So I'm gonna put, you know, maybe a warmer formula there just to fill it in so it doesn't look hollow. All right, so we're gonna let this guy process for 30 minutes while I work on the bottom. So now we're formulating her ends. So take a look at her ends here. See this? Her ends are like level eight, almost like a sprinkle level nine in there. So that's why I'm gonna come over here and I still wanna use permanent because there's still some dark base in there so the permanent can shift that base. And normally I usually put a demi on there but I feel safer if I, oh, this is really tough. All right, so let's do naked seven. <laughs> and we're just gonna run it down through those ends there. So it kind of like coats it. So I might just put a squirtage of six at night. Just a squirtage, not too much, because I don't want it to look dark. Okay, I'm just gonna use about half a tube here. So we're gonna do uh, 30 grams. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of six at night. Six at night, make sure that it doesn't just fade out and become too hollow because of the iridescence. So I'm just gonna put a little squirt, just five grams, just to give it depth. Okay, so we have 35 grams of color. So because it is demi-permanent deposit only, I am gonna get the six volume dedicated developer, which is in the black bottle. I'm gonna mix it one to two. Okay, so one to two makes it 70 grams of developer. And because her hair is damage, I do want to grab the Guy Tang Collagen Powder, okay, and I am going to use a full scoop here. I'm going to sprinkle that in, and I'm going to use a Titty Bib Olaplex as well. There we go. Sprinkle that in. Now I'm going to apply this on our hands. I'm going to mix this on up. Let's go. So we are going to apply our last formula on her base color, and this is Naked 7. And Naked 7 has a mauve tone to it, so it's going to look slightly mushroomy. Um, because it has iridescence and a powder-like finish, I want it to have more opacity. So I'm gonna use six and nine. This is all demi-permanent color. Demi-permanent color only deposits. I make sure I add in the Guy Tang Collagen Powder because we want the hair to be healthy, all right? Because the ends are lightened from the past. And then I'm gonna drag down this formula. See, we lift it up to level eight. Right here in the back, we are gonna use 20 volume, big nine, 
right on the retouch. I'm gonna put this right on her scalp and we shift it to 20 because you don't need that much energy on the scalp. It's all gonna even out. And after you apply it to the retouch, then you're gonna re-swipe down through the ends so that way it lifts all evenly. <laughs> We're back guys! Yeah. <laughs> this is so exciting. We can't we can't have to hide from everyone. We gotta hide the hair. Yes. They wanna see it. It's gonna be a surprise. Are you guys ready? Are you excited? I am so excited. Are you excited? <laughs> Are you guys excited? Let me know. Let me know. Are you ready, you guys? To all the hair besties in the land, here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so first let's talk about her base color. Look mm. at that shadow ash brown though. That brown. First of all, yeah. tell me how you feel about the brown, Cheryl. It's so beautiful. It's really me, and it's oh, it's just amazing. It, oh, I'm so happy. You feel safe oh, with the brown. You yes. still feel like you, but yes. we have a surprise. Are you guys mm -hmm. ready? Yeah. Let's turn around. Turn around. Ta -da 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 -da. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> Look at this. Look how beautiful this underlight is. Okay, there's no toner, <laughs> no nothing. We haven't done anything yet, but look at that placement. Yeah. Okay, so you guys can see the underlight. Okay, then the brown veil right over it. It almost like creates an ombre. Mm -hmm. You guys can see that right there, right on the very end. It kind of looks like an ombre, but it's not. And again, this was very popular in the 90s and the early 2000s, even the late 2000s. But mm -hmm. now we're bringing it back. And there's so many things you can do to it because you can ombre the color underneath. And I'm so excited about mm -hmm. this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna spin you around. So you guys get to see here. Look, she still looks like herself. Mm -hmm. And you, you get that fun color without that commitment. She still feels like herself at the top. And when she ties her hair back, yeah. she still sees her brown hair and not all of the, the parietal areas, not all bleached out. But she gets that fun color that comes out from underneath. So now what I'm gonna do is when we're gonna put superpowers on you. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh yes, I'm right. so excited. I'm so <laughs> excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. She's very excited as you can tell. Okay, sure, okay. Listen, these are the colors okay. we're gonna use. Oh my gosh. Purple Raven. Whoa. You see that? It's blue and purple. Girl, you colorblind! I'm colorblind. <laughs> See, no. <laughs> okay, this is blue. It's this blue. is purple. You're gonna be dimensional. So Aww. what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt purple raven into magenta magic Ooh. and into pink possession on the ends. So we're oh gonna ombre it. How do you feel about that? Whoa. Are you nervous? I am nervous. <laughs> yeah. But I'm very excited. I mean, this looks amazing. Cheryl, you have to evolve. Yes. The time is now. Are you gonna Are you gonna stay safe for the rest of your life? You trust me? Yes. Okay, good. It's just like seeing the color on its own is like, whoa. It's scary. It's scary. But then I know, like when you blend everything, it's gonna be very good. You have to trust yeah. me. And first of all, Cheryl K, I'm very proud of you for doing something that's out of your comfort zone. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, if you told me this, I don't know, before I wouldn't, Imagine myself having like pink, purple, all that colors, fun colors. But it's amazing because I always see like on other people and I'm like, oh wow, that looks so beautiful. But then like I, I just never thought I'd dare to do it because it's, you don't have to dream it's anymore. It's a big change. It's a big evolution yeah, change. Change of my, is good. My look. Um, we all know change is good, and yeah. now is the time to you know. I don't want, I don't like to say change because change can be negative. Because some people think, oh, you change. You're different now. No, it's evolving. I'm growing and you're growing as I'm an refreshing. artist. You're growing as a person and an artist. And when you yes. grow, you, you learn more about life. And that's why I said like, you know, so many of us are afraid to change. So many of us are afraid like, oh my God, yeah. you know, I want to stick in my comfort zone. What's safe? But yeah. look at this, look at this. I have, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is magenta magic, oh, which is the perfect name wow. for it because you're going to look magical. And over here on this bowl, we put Purple Raven, and on this side is Magenta Magic. And then I'm gonna put Pink Possession. So Pink Possession is lighter and softer, and Magenta Magic is a little bit deeper and cooler. So Pink Possession is almost like the watermelon side, and this is like the cooler. That's why Magenta and Pink are kind of two different things. And this, there's so many different shades of everything. So Purple Raven is gonna be at the rootage, more of the, the root area the base because it's darker and it gets lighter so it ombres wow. itself out. And you can see here, I'm gonna do the same thing on your base, on your brown. Right. So this is a cool thing guys, I'm actually ombre her whole entire head, her brown and her blonde that's underneath. And the reason why is because the brown will take the color differently. It <laughs> takes it more of like a natural brownish tone to it with the purple and then what happens is the blonde picks it up more vibrantly. So you're getting like, is understanding that direct dyes are overlays. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's not gonna look purple on her brown hair, it's not gonna look 
pink on her brown hair, but it's gonna give her that iridescent, that, mm. that dimension, that depth, almost like a top coat feel. Wow. Purple Raven, Magenta Magic, Pink Possession. We're gonna ombre that through. Are you ready? <gasps> Yay! Yes! Did y'all hear that? We didn't get to coloring. Ready or not, here we go. All right, guys, I want you guys to see, now that we put the cape on her, how beautiful this lays. And what I love is that it ombres itself down, like almost like an illusion of an ombre, but it's not. Now, because we're doing Purple Raven and Magenta Magic, we don't need to lift her to a level 10. I feel like it's such a stereotype. Everybody thinks, oh, Guy Tang bleaches everyone up to a level 20 or level 12, and it's unrealistic. No, as you can see, this is actually only a level eight and a half, barely touching a nine. The superpowers have so much pigment and they last so long and they're so rich in depth that when I apply on the brown base, it's gonna look beautiful. And I had to lift the base up with um, shadow ash. So that way it exposed some of the underlying pigment while concealing the brass that naturally occur in the hair as we lighten it. But coating it with superpower dye right over that brown, it's gonna merge the color together. So that way it's just not like brown on top of purple. It's creating a unity between the colors, but yet we have a, a base to it. I'm gonna put the purple raven right on her base and I'll put it right over that brown hair too. See that? As well as the blonde. So I'm just gonna section the hair into four quadrants and I'm gonna put this mainly on the rootage. So this is creating almost like a shadow root. So you're gonna see more so pink than you are gonna see the purple because the purple is gonna be hidden underneath. So when she wears her hair up and curls her hair, you get to see that depth and that dimension pop through. And the cool thing is direct dyes are what you see is what you get. You get the tone, but then now you're applying that tone over a canvas. So if the canvas is blonde, you're gonna see it more. If the canvas is darker, you're just creating a glaze. So it's like glazing over the hair. I can't wait to see this in the music video too. I've worked so hard on this album, 1981, and you know, asking Cheryl to be on it is a dream come true. Aww, it thank really you is. guy. I can't believe like that we're doing it and like it's just amazing and I love, love, love the song. Me too. I'm so excited to shoot the music video and see it come out and just see it when it releases. It's gonna be awesome. It really is. So I'm just gonna probably start her routage and we're gonna be right back. When I merge in the Magenta Magic, it's gonna be very, very beautiful. All right, so now my next formula is Magenta Magic. So what I like to do, instead of putting the Magenta right over the purple, what I like to do is put it right through the mid shaft because it allows the product to be nice and bright. And then I go in and massage it through and bring it down together. You just gotta give time for the product to sink in. Just like a little bit, like 30 seconds, it allows the product to sink before you start merging and pack that magenta on. I love the magenta because it's really potent. And remember with direct dyes, you have to push the product into the hair because it doesn't have ammonia. So it's gonna need your help to really push it in there. All right, so we kind of just repeat as we go up. And some areas, you can see here, this is some of the brown. Just paint right over it, don't be scared. You want it to merge together. At the end, you guys see how beautiful it blends, just by melting the natural right on in. All right, so the top layer here, you can see there's lots of brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the magenta all the way down through the ends because there's more pigment in the magenta than there is in the pink possession. I want maximum pigment there, so I'm gonna drag that magenta magic down. But here where the blonde is, you're gonna see me pull the pink possession through. So this is a really cool way to kind of understand how direct dyes work. It's a staining color and you can stain anything. Obviously it's not gonna pop up, I said that before, but I want to kind of just keep on saying it so we understand it. So that way you guys can use the superpowers in more ways than one. Because I think that sometimes it gets stereotyped. People think, oh, you know, no one would ever want to use superpowers or those colors. But if you know you can put over brown hair, you might go, huh. I wanna try that. I love putting Phoenix Fire Orange over coppers in my natural redheads to make them pop and glow. Or Lightning Bolt over brown hair to make it shine more. Or even using the Mint of Steel, which is green, to cancel out red tones and dark brown hair. Mm. So there's so many ways you can use these fun colors and not just think of them as, oh, nobody wants green hair, nobody wants blue hair. You know what I'm saying? There's so many ways to utilize it. So I'm just gonna finish off using the magenta and then we're gonna come back with that pink possession so you guys could see how I apply that. Oh my God, look at this. Wow. Dang. All right, so here we go. Our last formula Woo. is called pink possession. 
All right, so go ahead and bend your head down. And I just need to get the very tips, the very, very tips of these. And pretty much is a lighter and slightly less cool version of magenta. All right, pink possession. So you can see there where it's slightly lighter. And I'm not afraid to merge this a little bit. It's there just so we can kind of create like a lighter version of that magenta and less of a cool purpley tone. So you can see like an ombre burst with it. I love the pink possession. I love mixing it with cosmic coral. I love mixing the colors together. So I'm gonna merge this through and let her sit for 20 minutes and we are done. Okay, Cheryl K. Okay, yes. during these quarantine moments, what have you learned about yourself more than anything? Ah, I have learned that I can stay at home longer than I think. <laughs> I used to be able to because I used to tell myself, oh my gosh, I can only be at home for two days because I'm I'm a very extroverted person and I, I, I go a bit, you know, like, whoa, I need to get out of house out of two days, but now because of everything we wanna, you know, stay safe at home and learn how to cook better, um, and just and work on projects, just basically make use of my time to actually focus on myself, my mental health and um, you know write more music and 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 do things online and perform shows online and oh, that's it's, awesome. yeah it's it's very interesting everything has uh, changed but it's it's um you know there's challenges and we overcome yeah. them and, yeah you know what i do love though is that you brought up mental health mental health is so important like when you don't yeah. feel safe or when you're not mentally healthy you can yeah. make yourself so sick to where it becomes like it eats at you from the inside out you yes. know, and for me, I find that a lot of people don't realize that sometimes the thing that you're most passionate about can actually eat you up. Like I love doing hair and I find that sometimes like taking a step back to be creative is yeah. so important that ever since that I took a step back and it lets me be more creative. It lets me breathe and not, you know, because we're always on the go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. It's always very fast paced, especially with everything. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what I learned is that music is so healing. It music is. helps us get through the toughest times in our life. And for me, during quarantine, I wrote so many music. Yeah. And you're able to, you know, record songs from home. And, yeah. And even when you're in the studio, you're not even in the same room recording. So you're six feet apart anyways. You know, mm -hmm. you're, you're like... 20 feet apart. Mm -hmm. So there's like that safety zone, but it's, it helps you escape. And for me, like a lot of people like don't realize music saved my life because I'm able to write music. I'm able to stay passionate and doing hair. Yeah. And for all of you guys who are watching at home, trust me, I know a lot of times we're going through a lot. And if we, you know, we find something we're passionate about, or, you know, some people call it hobbies. Like I, I get, <laughs> you know what's funny? Because I hate when people say, oh, that's a nice hobby to have. Like when I first start doing hair, People always say, oh, that's a nice hobby. When are you going to get a real job? I'm like, mm. I am going to do hair. I love doing hair. How's doing hair a hobby? And ever since I started YouTube, yeah. oh, so when are you going to go do real things? And yeah. that, that, that must be nice playing around on YouTube. I was like, no, it's my life. This is what I do. And then when I got into music, yeah. oh, that's a nice hobby. No, this is what I do. I'm a recording artist. Yeah. So how did you overcome that hobby or that typecast or like people not taking you seriously as a musician? Because you landed a huge gig. She is the, okay, first of all, she's the <laughs> singer that you hear on the movie Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah. When the movie starts, mm -hmm. you hear her voice. When the movie ends, you hear her voice. That movie is the biggest rom-com in this last decade. And you're the voice of that movie. Yeah. I mean, that's what you're be proud of. Yes, I am. I'm super, super thankful. I got uh, scouted and casted by the director, John M. Chu. Um, of the movie and he saw my YouTube video uh, that I happened to sing a 15 second clip of it and uh, of a, a song, Mama Knows Best by Jesse J. And then, um, yeah, and then I got contacted by uh, Warner Brothers and they got me to sing the opening title and ending credit song, Money That's What I Want, it's called, is the song's name. And yeah, it's with Aquafina. Yeah, and the remix, the one at the end is remixed with Wait. Aquafina rapping on it. And I am so on it and still something that I've been trying to process because I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe that that happened. That's like a fairy tale almost. And that's the crazy <laughs> thing. It's like a lot of us, don't realize that if we just take chances, if we just yeah. get up and move and do something and live live your dream, don't just yeah, dream. Yeah, just go ahead and do it. Just do just it. Just put yourself out there. If you want to do it and you enjoy it, just do it because you mm -hmm. love it. And then, I yeah. always say dreams are for those who are asleep. You got to wake up and make it happen. You have to like believe that. in yourself. You have yeah. to believe in yourself because who's going to believe in you? And that's the crazy thing. Like I start, 
you know, I've always done music. I've actually put out music um, videos of me singing on YouTube before I even start putting a bunch of hair videos out. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't realize it because I put all those videos on private, but I sung on YouTube before I even start promoting a bunch of hair stuff. Uh -huh. And so when people start saying, why are you singing? Just stick to hair, do this. I was like, uh, I'm living my dream. I'm doing what I want to do. And mm -hmm. hey, there's so many ways. Like you got discovered multiple ways. And sometimes it's not about people discovering you, but it's about you discovering yourself. yourself. Yes. It's about you discovering yourself. Don't don't yes. let anyone tell you who to be. Don't yeah. let anyone tell you, you know, this is what you need to do with your career and put you in a box because you're not going to be happy. Trust mm -hmm. me, you guys, please listen to me. You're not going to be happy if you're trying to live your life to please someone else. Yeah. You have to do something for you and you never know. There's, look, look what happened to Cheryl. She got, you, you, I mean, you sang the theme song for Crazy Rich Asians and who knows where that will go from here or there. Yeah. But that song, Money, got like over millions of streams on Spotify and everything. And, and then you got interviewed everywhere, left and right. Mm. And, and it's crazy because that's yeah, the part it's definitely even... opened so many doors for me. I, uh, I'm, I really count my blessings and uh, it's, it has been an amazing experience. I got to meet the cast and the crew mm -hmm. and oh, it was just... A dream come true. It was a complete dream come true. What do you think about everyone living their dream? Like just do it. What do you think? What, what message do you have for everyone? Not to be afraid? Yeah, I mean, first, like we talked earlier too, love yourself love what you do keep doing it and put it out there never be afraid of mm -hmm. what people will think because it's your work and if you are proud of it and you are happy to share it just do it just share it don't let yeah. people's doubts about you make you doubt yourself yes because that's the worst because yeah. they will when you put yourself out there's there there's always going to be people who judge and <sighs> people who want to criticize and they want to have you know everything to say and you cannot please everyone but you know those people who say all those things are they doing something? They need to live out their dream. Because if they were happy, they wouldn't try to make other people unhappy. So don't ever be that person, seriously, right? So that's why I said like, they will try to doubt you. You put your stuff out there, they're gonna say, oh, stick to your day job. Oh, you can't sing or don't do that. Oh, please, they'll, they'll leave all these negative comments. But at the same time, you never know when it's your turn. So don't be afraid, right? Yeah. Don't be and, afraid. And just like today, you're gonna go purple, you're gonna go pink, yeah, oh you're gonna get dark, okay? You did some underlights, you're not scared. Yeah. Are you gonna do a live song for us yes, today? Are you gonna sing yes. a song for us today? Yes, I will. Okay, well, I know, I know you, you have to take off your mask for this. I'm gonna stand all the way over there. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna hide myself in that corner so okay. you can sing for us. Okay, I'm gonna hide right okay. over here. I love your hair, Cheryl. I love it too. Oh my goodness. Isn't it amazing? He is amazing. Guy, you are amazing. Uh, Hands down. I'm amazing. Your voice. <laughs> I love I mean, come on. Your voice is like out of this world. Don't, don't you agree? You uh, you agree. You know her voice. You guys are so sweet. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. I was so nervous to do this hair and because I've always wanted like pink and purple hair and all these like fun colors like rainbow and things like that and I never thought that I'd dare to do it because 
I, I don't know, I just, I didn't know if I could pull it off, but I'm like, I see Guy Tang's work, I know he's amazing, and I see all these fun cars, and I'm like, I really want it. So Guy, I'm gonna take the plunge, do it. Just, just paint it all over, and I wanna see how it looks like, oh, and oh my chill. god, this is amazing. I never thought I had pink and purple hair. Look at this. I mean, oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> pretty, right? I'm going to provide all the links yes. below so you can stop Cheryl K. Aww. Check out her music on Spotify, iTunes, yes. Apple Music, Amazon Music, everywhere. As you know, she's the singer to <laughs> Crazy Rich Asians. You heard her song in the beginning of the movie, in the ending Aww. of the movie. You collaborate with Aquafina, who I'm also a fan of. I think it's amazing. And I'm so happy that we did a song together. I finally get to yes. have a song with you and I'm so excited. I am so excited too. The song is called... Ready to Love. Yeah, are you ready to love? Are you ready to love? And this look, by the way, is for, for the, the music, music video, video that's going to come out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video and all the links will be below. Make sure to go to Class and Proud for Armstrong McCall to buy the color for all the recipes I've shared with you today or check out mydaddycolor.com to order the colors online right mm -hmm. away. And also, I'd like to say, don't forget to uh, click thumbs up and leave comments below and tell me what you think about this color. Would you do it? Would you yes. do it? Would you want it? Do you want this color? Of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. You guys also, don't forget to check out Guy Tang's music. You guys know that he makes amazing, incredible music. Please go support him because I love his music and I love Guy. Well, that's the cool part because you love my music. So now we bring our music together. together. Yes. All the links will be below. Right? Amazon Music, Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, Apple. Yes, Anywhere you all that. consume music, you, you got it, right? Yeah. All right, love you guys much. Subscribe and hit that bell, okay? Hit that bell so you get all the notifications. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Do, 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 do. Everything you say, don't know if it's real. I can run away, cause I like how it feels, yeah. But I keep asking myself, yeah, yeah.